What's up, Rex Nation? Welcome back. Uh, if you're new here or haven't already, go down below, hit that subscribe button and like the video. Uh, today, we're gonna be throwing the new Phase AI. Super excited about this one. Uh, normal Phase Core, 053 differential, 247RG. It's wrapped around the AI outer core and then the uh, TX16 Pearl cover stock. Uh, and then new finish as well, the Power Edge. So uh, from my understanding, it's gonna bring a little bit more tackiness to the, to the cover, so it's gonna wanna pick up a little bit more. Uh, but we'll see uh, how it's gonna roll. So we're here at Rockford Lanes, gonna throw it a few times, and let's see what it does. All right, guys, so we got that phase AI. Take it out on the lanes, throw a few shots. Uh, yeah, let's see what it does. So I'm gonna be honest with you, phases have not matched up well with me. So hopefully this one's different. I have thrown it a little bit, but let's just see what it does. Ooh, very promising. Uh, you know, it's Pearl, so it's gonna go a lot longer. Uh, it's a lot stronger cover than the last couple phases. Uh, those had R2S, this is the Pearl version of the phase two, so the TX-16. Um, plus, like I said earlier, it's got the uh, new finish on it, the Power Edge. So, interested to see how that looks as well. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, small move left, so. It's a little left. Oh boy. Like it feels to me like it like it wants to grab the lane, honestly. So it feels like a bigger pearl. And that's the vibes I'm getting, especially moving left. I did miss a little left, but it's a house shot and this place does not slack on the oil. So, I mean, it's still picked up in, in red. So we're gonna keep going. Let me reset it. This is a great time to talk about the layout though. So I did my usual, it's got a five inch pin on it, uh, 60 degree back angle to really help slow it down, not make it too strong. Cause I do struggle with uh, like symmetrical pearls or just symmetrical storm stuff flaring too much. So I try to keep that back angle pretty big. So, all right, let's redo this. So moving a little bit left, throwing a good shot. Promising. Oh yeah, that thing goes through the pins extremely well. I mean, it just slices through there like butter. So I'm really impressed with it right now. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be throwing it a lot. I did throw it, uh, I had a regional uh, this past weekend. It was on 38 feet uh, Wayne Webb, I believe. And uh, I love throwing the Ion Pro. I mean, that's the number one ball thrown in my bag right now. Uh, but that was a little too slow there. And I went straight to this and I threw it the whole day and looked, it looked really good. So, but we're gonna move left again and just see what we can do. See if it can handle all this oil. Looks really good. It comes off the friction really well. Pick up. All right. So it looks like, I mean, it's still like a fresher house condition because there's a lot of oil. So, but I bet if I um, slow down that ball speed just a touch, I mean, it's gonna pick up and probably go through the pins really well. So we're gonna try that. By the way, if you guys haven't already, this cool chamois, rec chamois, really awesome. You can go down in the description below to see where to find those. <laughs> try to ease up on the ball speed just a little bit. Let it come around the corner. All right, so, yeah, I mean, I normally wouldn't throw something so clean and so quick on the back end, like on, you know, something like this with a lot of oil and all that. I still want something uh, that's gonna pick up and be a little bit slower, um, but this thing still handles oil pretty well. It just goes 
a touch too long, a little flat 10, but we'll see if we can get it to strike. We're gonna stay in the same spot. Maybe throw it just a pinch slower, get it to read. Oh, pick up. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, just a little slower on the ball speed, even missed just a couple boards left and it still picked up in that oil. Went through the pins very well. Um, I mean, every time it's, it's gone through the pins the right way. Uh, part of it, I think that, it, that AI Auto Core 2 helps. Um, just wants each ball that they put it in to read just a little bit earlier, so. Open up some angles. I mean, really see if it'll go through. Still try to keep the ball speed slower. Oh, it's left. Trip it! Oh, all right. We're gonna throw a better shot. So it was a little left, so obviously. Still, it still picked up, which is great. But can't end on that one. All right, a little offset. I am really loving this ball though, this reaction. So kind of when I'm ready to get out of the slower pieces, need something just a little quicker, and this seems to be the answer. And nothing, it's not really too quick either. Like I said, I can feel like it wants to grab and be a little slower. All right, let's see. Ooh, there we go. I mean, that's pretty big angles. Like I said, a high volume house shot, and it still wants to pick up, still wants to go. And I mean, trip, kick the four out, little light four. So we'll throw one more just to split the eight, nine. But man, I didn't see myself throwing this a lot. So if you need something, honestly, like a more transition ball, um, just something, like I said, to get out of that early and slower, you know, game one, game two balls, this would be a great option for you. Jesus. All right. Um, professionals make bad shots too. So, we're not ending on that. By the way, if you guys love this jersey as much as I do, you'd visit 12bagger.com and order one. And also use North 10 in the code so you get 10% off. All right. Last shot. See it, Dom. Wait, one more time. Oh yeah. Like I said, I am gonna throw this ball a lot. First ball I'm gonna switch to when I just need that, something a little cleaner than the Ion Pro, something a little bit quicker. And I think this is gonna fill that spot. So guys, 